So welcome back. We know that this is how a glass material looks like in Cycle's render engine. But if we switch over to EV, things will change completely, it won't look like a glass at all, in the new version of Blender. So we will learn the new method to create a perfect glass material in EV, using Blender 4.2. Let's start from the scratch. We have created a glass cover in this composition, and it is hiding a bunch of beautiful flowers underneath. We did not add any material yet to this jar or the cover, once we add a glass material, we should be able to see the flowers through the glass. But before we do anything, let's first go to the shader editor for the world. So this is how we have set up the shader for the world output, we have used a bright HDRI as environment texture, it will ensure enough light in the scene, which is very important for a glass object, as it creates adequate reflections. We are in the render properties tab, and we are using the EV engine, which is also called EV Next. We need to ensure that the shadows are enabled, and we need to also enable the option of ray tracing. It is a new option in Blender version 4.2, and we have to use the screen trace option. Now select the glass object, and go to the materials tab. Let's create a new material for this object, we can use this default shader or even a glass BSDF, it's the same process, we need to first reduce the roughness to create a glossy outlook. Then we can change this IOR value, based on the refractive index of our glass material, let's go with say 1.25. And then for the transparency, we'll expand this transmission section, we need to change this transmission weight to 1. This will give us the necessary reflections of our environment on the glass, but this is not like a true glass, as we can't see anything inside. So we need to make a few more changes, to bring the transparency. Let's scroll down below in the material settings, and first in the thickness socket, we need to connect a value node from this list. Then we will use a very small value for the thickness, this thickness can impact the material to a great extent. We need to also enable this option for transparent shadows, but we'll again revisit this later. In the render method, we need to select the dithered option, instead of blended. And then we need to also enable the ray trace transmission. So finally we get a true glass and we can see through the jar. But it does not look good since the refraction is too high, and the flowers are extremely distorted. We need to change this thickness method, from sphere to slab, to rectify this issue. Now we can clearly see the flowers inside, so it's far better, but still not good enough because of the shadows. The glass is casting a dark shadow, not just on the floor, the entire thing is too dark, so let's rectify this shadow. We have no direct settings here to control this, we need to mix this primary shader with a transparent BSDF, to reduce the effect of this dark shadow. So let's switch over to the shader editor, and we need to be in the object mode instead of world. This shader node tree is automatically created by Blender, for the glass material we have added here, and this value node represents the thickness type and the thickness value that we have selected. Now we need to mix this material with a transparent shader, so from the add menu, under shader, we'll pick up transparent BSDF. Then instead of this, we'll connect this shader with a node called mix shader, and the transparent BSDF will go to the second socket of this node. The output of this mix shader will then go to the final output. And the FAC value of this mix shader needs to be controlled by the shadow ray, since we want to limit the shadow effect, so from the input group, we'll add a light path node. It has limited functionality for EV, but fortunately, the shadow ray output works here. We need to pass it through a multiply node, and the result should go to this FAC. We can easily control the shadow amount using this field, you can experiment with this, but a value of 0.7 or 0.75 looks good for me. With this node set up, if we now go back to our viewport, we can see the result, the shadow is much lighter this time, and the overall look of the scene is also far better, the jar now looks like a real glass object. So this is how we can create a perfect glass in EV, but remember that our shadow setup will work only if we enable this transparent shadow option. If we disable this, the shadow will again go back to the dark mode, so we need to keep this option enabled for a better shadow. And the overall scene also looks a little dull to me, so in the render properties, we can go to this last section, called color management. We can artificially increase the light, by changing this exposure value. I think now everything looks better, so from now onward, this is how we need to create a glass material in EV. I hope you like this tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.